So everyone, welcome to the power play with CJ. I said we're focusing on the five-year extension the Auto Senators gave Kyle Turris that will pay him on average $3.5 million per year, so $17.5 million. Uh, as many of you know, I've been a critic of Kyle Turris many times on the show, but if you also know, uh, a couple weeks ago when I did my Northeast Division preview, I named him as Ottawa's biggest X Factor going into the season. Um, I think when it's all said and done, this could end up being a bargain for Ottawa. Not $3.5 million for a guy who's upside. Still hasn't been reached. Uh, I think he just turned 23. Yep, two weeks ago, August 14th. And, uh, you know, his best days are ahead of him. I don't like the way he ended it in Phoenix. I think that's part of the reason I'm so, like, you know, rough, tough on him and my judging of him. But, you know, looking at the numbers, he came over uh, from Phoenix in December for Rune Blood in the second round pick had uh, 29 points in 49 games for the Senators and uh, obviously had that great snipe in, in the playoffs, the overtime goal. Uh, you know, if he can step up and really up his production, he can get to call him and Spencer the way I projected him to, if that's what makes him their biggest X factor. You know, this could really be an absolute steal for, for, the, for the Senators. Like I said, I like his game. I think he can put it all together. It's just a matter of him actually putting it together, which sounds idiotic more I think of it, think of it but you know he's a guy like I said with uh you know Carlson and company in the fold you know with the young guys coming up the Zabanajeds you know Jared Collin you know really emerging on top flight shut down defenseman uh Jim O'Brien really playing well you know he's gonna fit right into that mold Mark Stone playing in the playoffs last year uh, you know he's going to be one of the key cogs in that nu in that nucleus, and uh, you know I'm really excited. Good for Turris, and like I said, you know if you saw him playing the British Columbia League or at the University of Wisconsin, uh, where he was drafted third overall by the Coyotes, you know he you saw a player that had a lot of uh, upside and potential. And you know Gretzky, I think, mishandled his development in Phoenix and then set him back. But uh, you know if you can put the Phoenix days behind him and focus on being an Ottawa Senator and uh, you know living up to the contract, he will be a uh, quite a steal. That's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the five-year deal the Ottawa Senators gave Senator Kyle Turris. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off-season and beyond. Later, guys.